Hey y'all, it's Monk Joseph here with the Broken Buddha and today we're going to be doing some uh, Nine Breathings of Purification again. So this will be the religious explanation. If you need to see how to do Nine Breathings of Purification, go back to the first one, part one, figure out how to do it. This is just a religious explanation. Now, first we'll do the Tibetan Buddhist explanation because it's a lot simpler and quicker. So in Tibetan Buddhism, when you're doing your Nine Breathings of Purification, there are some switches. You're going to have your right hand on top of left instead of left on right, and your thumbs will be touching instead of down, like the bond version. All right, and it's the exact same, but just everything's backwards, and we're only going to use white light and black smoke. Okay, so same procedure as before, but instead of starting with the right, you're going to start with the left. You're going to breathe in white light, breathe out black smoke, in white light out black smoke in white light out black smoke switch in white light out black smoke in white light out black smoke in white light out black smoke and now in both in white light out black smoke in white light out black smoke in white light out black smoke. I don't know why I can't say out black smoke for some reason without messing it up, but okay. And that would be the end of that after your nine breathings. Sorry for the humor at the end of that. Um, I'm trying to keep this super serious. Uh, after your first nine breathings, you'll just go into whatever meditative practice you're doing or sitting or go to work, whatever you're doing after you do this. All right. And now we're going to cover the bond version, which is way more complex. So we're going to switch. Oh, and also, I forgot to mention, in the Tibetan Buddhist version, you're going to have your right side is your red channel, your left side is your white channel, and so that is also switched. Okay, moving forward into the Tibetan Bond version of this, there's a lot more colors and explanations. So again, Tibetan Buddhist, right is red, left is white. It's always right is masculine, left is feminine. That doesn't change, just the colors change. And again, with Tibetan Buddhism, you're only going in with white light, out with black smoke. Very simple, very effective. You'll notice it's very psychologically and physiological effect effective. Um, but okay, moving forward, now to the Bumpa one. You're going to do the opposite of the channels. You'll have a white masculine right channel and a red feminine left channel. And for this one, it's going to be a little more complex because there's more things added to it. Okay. So again, you're going to be right first, left on top, thumbs. And for this one, it's uh, you're going to breathe in green light into the red channel, out light blue smoke and all past aggressive, angry, masculine issues. Again, in green light, out light blue smoke. In green light, out light blue smoke. And then you'll switch. And that's for all your past angers and aggressions. And then when you switch into your white channel, you will breathe green light. Out of your red channel, you will breathe pink smoke and all future desires clouding you from enlightenment or your journey. Again, in green light. Out pink smoke. In green light out pink smoke and future desires getting in the way a feminine desire issue and when i say uh feminine i mean yin just like from the other side you're blowing out your more uh any yang or higher energy issues and then your yin is going to be your feminine and that is what you are identifying as that side so i was not saying i am uh blowing out simply desire i know i put the word desire and feminine in the same aspect and i could see that getting construed it is all desire your desire to not want to do this, any desire, it, desire and aversion is only uh, attributed to us through ignorance is, is how we even separate the two. I'm not going to get into that too much. Sorry, I got distracted. All right. And then for your third breath, you're going to do staying in the same position in green light down both conjoining to the middle blue channel. And then you're going to blow black smoke out of the top of your head. And that's going to be your ignorance. All right. And then you'll do it again in green light out black smoke in green light out black smoke you can also depending on your visualization skills you can not only are you going to push it out of the top but you're also going to you can have it coming out of your nose 
you can have it coming out of your back. One of my favorite ones to do for all pervasive prana is to use my entire conception vessel to breathe in chi facing south from the earth and then to push all the black out of my back and going north with the magnetic pull of the earth. So I'm using the earth's magnetic flow from south to north to not only nourish my body, but to pull away the toxins as I breathe out. So that's another thing to remember as you're doing this. Um, I hope this wasn't too complicated. Again, if you need to see how to do nine breathings of purification, go back to the first video. Um, and I hope you enjoy. Uh, any questions, leave it in the suggestions. I'll get to it as soon as possible. Uh, happy health and thank you for stopping by. Peace and blessings.